Chances are, you've been affected by cancer in one way or another. According to the Center for Disease Control, cancer almost ties with heart disease for being the number one leading cause of death in the United States, having killed more than one in five people who died from a disease in 2014. For decades, scientists and doctors have been working relentlessly to try and put this disease to an end. We've been able to put a man on the moon, so why haven't we been able to cure cancer? One reason cancer is so difficult to treat is because it is a disease caused by your own cells. Getting your own body to kill itself can be quite a challenge. Masses of cancer cells, or tumors, impair the function of nearby cells and can cause them to eventually die. This could lead to death when the cancer is in a location such as your brain or liver. Traditional cancer therapies primarily include the use of chemotherapeutic drugs. These drugs work by targeting and killing cells in your body that are rapidly dividing. So, although these drugs do kill the cancer cells, they can't help but kill other cells too. Both your hair cells and the cells that line your gastrointestinal tract also rapidly divide, and for this reason, we see many cancer patients who suffer from hair loss and experience side effects such as nausea. More recent therapies involve the use of antibodies to kill the cancer cells. An antibody is a molecule that acts like a biological key. If you watch television, you may have heard about antibody treatments on recent commercials. They are typically advertised as drugs, and their names usually end in MAB, which stands for monoclonal antibody. These antibodies are very good at exclusively targeting cancer cells, so these treatments can reduce the severity of the side effects we just spoke about. In antibody therapies, the chemotherapeutic drug that was previously injected into your body is now bound to the antibody. We can now administer higher doses of medicine to a patient without having to worry about increasing the severity of the chemotherapeutic side effects. This can lead to both a person having to deal with therapy for a shorter amount of time and having a smaller chance of the cancer coming back. Despite these promising innovations, cancer still has not been cured. There are still non-specific effects because antibodies are not 100% efficient. This is where newer technologies will come into play in the future. One new tool in the cancer killing toolbox are nanoparticles. More than a thousand nanoparticles could fit end to end across the diameter of a human hair. Although they are small, they are incredibly versatile and have great potential, shown by research done here at the Johns Hopkins Institute for Nanobiotechnology. In the Jordan Green Lab at the Johns Hopkins School of Medicine, researchers are using nanoparticles as a mini delivery vehicle. This vehicle will allow more of the therapy, whether it be a drug, gene, or an antibody, to reach the site of the tumor more efficiently. In the Jonathan Schneck Lab, also at the Johns Hopkins School of Medicine, researchers are using nanoparticles to activate immune cells. This treatment would be similar to how a vaccine would work, where immune cells would only kill cancer cells. This would eliminate many of the off-target side effects with current treatments and provide a long-lasting immunity. In the Margarita Herrera lab at the Whiting School of Engineering, researchers are studying the kinetics of how polymer brushes assemble into these nanoparticles so they may try to better control the size and increase the efficiency at which drugs can be loaded into them. In the end, all of the research that is being done around the world on this topic will hopefully culminate and lead to a significantly improved therapy for the treatment of cancer. Although we've come a long way, there is still much to be done before we can lay this topic to rest. If you are interested in learning more about the research that is going on at the Johns Hopkins INBT, then be sure to check out our YouTube channel and subscribe for any future videos.